Right, so this is an easy one, trust me. This man, he loves three things. His wife, his wife's husband, but most importantly, the music of Frank Sinatra. And here's a time machine, because in this perfect world, the wealthy don't hoard all of their money. Looking at you, Jeff. He decides, fuck it, what's the use of having a time machine if you can't meet big Frank Sinatra? So he goes and tries to meet Frank, only to discover that he doesn't exist. And no one, who is anyone, has ever ever met Frank Sinatra, or knows about Frank Sinatra, or is in deep love with Frank Sinatra. I may be self-projecting now. Whoops. Now, a man can't bear a world without the music of New York, New York, so he decides to write up all the music he so happens to know off by heart. And then he gets it published in a very, very metaphorical sense. He becomes Frank Sinatra, and the world keeps on turning without anything happening. Now, this clearly didn't happen. Frank Sinatra is a real person. Or so we know he might be a lizard, don't tell anyone. However, where did the music come from? How did the song New York come to be? That's the question the Bootstrap Paradox poses, not specifically Frank Sinatra, but just in general. Easily explained, it's a simple infinite loop, which realistically can never break down. It's the reason time travel can't actually exist, because in an awfully complex branch of physics that I'm not paid enough to tell you about, all loops, given enough time, will break down just like my marriage. So, to put it nicely, the bootstrap paradox is an impossible infinite loop which physically cannot exist. But hey, at least we have Frank. Hey, man, can you fuck off? Fucking plain.